Hi everyone, Kamal here and I welcome you all to the second hands-on video of Lumia 540, the latest Lumia from Microsoft. Uh, so in the first video we have uh, done unboxing of the device and we have also shared our first hands-on impressions. So in the second video we will have a, you know, uh, we will just try to see how good the performance is, how smooth the navigation is and what are the changes that GDR2 brings. Uh, the Lumia 540 runs GDR2 out of box and uh, I mean it's, it's like debatable whether Microsoft would like to or should push the GDR2 for uh, the devices which are running GDR1 already but uh, I mean GDR2 is like a bridge between GDR1 and Windows 10 for phones so most of the enthusiasts are now running Windows 10 so I mean uh, there can be two views about it but uh, frankly speaking uh, I mean in my short hands-on time with uh, Lumia 540 I have really found the GDR2 to be, GDR2 to be very stable very smooth and uh, for information uh, GDR, I mean this Lumia 540 runs on Snapdragon 200 quad core processor so uh, and, and has got a 720p display so um, for uh, I think this will be the first Lumia device which has got a Snapdragon 200 uh, quad core processor and 720p display so I mean if you think about it it's really a bit of challenge for this processor but actually when I uh, have started uh, you know I have using it like my main driver main device and while I am using it I am not able to find any issue with this performance yet so we will uh, again I mean do some games play games and do different things but talk about general performance or general usability it sounds fine so let's begin so coming to GDR2 changes so first change is very noticeable you can see on the uh, I mean this all apps which is now added before this arrow uh, the same thing is now on build 10080 Windows 10 but it is not present on GDR1 so this is the first change I, that I can actually show second very interesting change is about settings so this was a big complaint coming from users that uh, the settings is like a big list which is really kind of you cannot so sort it out and it's uh, you know very clumsy to go and find the uh, settings in GDR1 so Microsoft has uh, done a bit of you know smart uh, grouping so now you have these many groups of settings so like uh, extras from extras you can go to accounts so like this it it, it obviously has become a bit more useful uh, even uh, it's it, again if you are already using Windows 10 preview then you can think that it's kind of bridge between uh, GDR1 and Windows 10 so but still it's uh, the kind of uh, implementation GDR2 has got for settings is it's interesting so even if I like uh, wh what Microsoft has done with Windows 10 uh, I'm not disappointed and I'm really liking how you can go and access a setting from here and you can also you know just go and search for a setting if you wish to so this is how uh, I mean easy it has become when you talk about settings okay now one more interesting change which is like uh, that, that is some uh, that can be uh, you know to call to be a very uh, appealing feature so we all know about double tap to unlock but uh, with GDR2 you can do double tap to lock as well so here is your navigation bar if you double tap you can lock your device again double tap to unlock is nearly on all the devices so so if you are already uh, using a Lumia 540 640 640 XL you don't know how to uh, you know uh, use this feature so what you can do is you can go to navigation bar from settings there you have different settings here you can see uh, there are like auto hide show the navigation bar you should uh, toggle it on because it helps in you know using while the games or apps they can automatically show or hide the navigation bar then you can choose how the navigation bar is so you can see if I do match accent color if the color changes you can ask to match background or always dark so there you have a setting of flick to hide the navigation bar so this is again very interesting so uh, a flick from bottom up can hide your navigation bar and again one more flick can bring it back 
so this this is where this feature can be toggled on or off and again you can see double tap on the navigation bar so enables double tap on the navigation bar to turn off the screen so there is where you toggle it on usually by default it's off so you have to come to navigation bar in settings and toggle it on so these are like two interesting things and again uh, there is one more thing about gdr2 it now allows you to edit the name of the device so here you can edit the name of the phone itself and this feature is again present on uh, windows 10 preview but again i mean obviously as i said this is a bridge windows gdr2 is a bridge between gdr1 and windows 10 so it's uh, easy to understand why it is here the version that uh, i am running on my device is 8.10.15137.148 apart from that uh, there are not much visible many visible changes uh, that uh, gdr2 brings okay again i would like to take you to settings so that i can show you one more thing so uh, the change one more change is in terms of uh, the privacy so okay here you come and uh, what you can do that from here you can change the app permission this is something again present on windows 10 and that is there for nearly all the all the apps many apps so here you can actually decide which apps are using uh, which permission so this is one again new feature which gdr2 brought to the device now coming to the uh, performance so till now you may have seen that uh, the navigation on lumia 540 is really smooth and i am really impressed with the stability and smoothness that gdr2 brings this is a device with snapdragon 200 quad core processor and a 720p display but still it works pretty good so again uh, let us see how the multitasking multitasking works here so we have uh, some apps open here so pretty quick actually so this is our uh, mm, okay so i mean the browser also opens pretty quickly loads pages quickly so as i said it's a bit of you know just try to see how how fast it works so frankly speaking you would not uh, face much of difficulty and you would like how fast it works the general things so fast screen resume fast app resume works much better it's really sorted out what i mean if you compare the preview builds of gdr1 and uh, this device then actually to me it's quite impressive let us open the store and see how fast the store opening and uh, app loading works so it, you can see it's pretty smooth pretty fast it's very quick actually so So while many of you would not like the comparison between I think uh, this did, I mean this build of GDR2 and uh, Windows 10 or others, but frankly speaking, if you try to see, uh, I mean uh, the the way I could see that Lumia 540 is a very you know stable and smooth device. I mean uh, needless to say that we expect this from a Windows Phone device but uh, since we have to you know uh, review or try to analyze and try to you know uh, what can you say like uh, if we try to just try to fit it that how where we will uh, rate the performance and smoothness of this device then we will do it uh, like give a top notch rating because uh, since the study i'm using it i mean since last two days i'm using it as my daily driver and uh, i have not faced any hiccups so even the notification etc work very fine so our uh, first hands-on UI navigation performance uh, impressions are really really good for this device 
so stay tuned for uh, more videos on lumia 540 as we would be putting through it's like uh, different uh, tests camera then we'll i mean display under direct sunlight etc but yeah initial imp uh, impressions regarding the smoothness regarding the performance of this device and uh, gdr2 uh, as such is really positive so with that i'll uh, finish this uh, video thanks for watching and stay tuned